Welcome to Fun Islamic Facts, where I share fun facts about Muhammad and the Quran whenever jihadis go on a killing spree. According to first grade science textbooks around the world, the four seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter, are caused by the Earth orbiting the Sun on a tilted axis. Different areas of the Earth receive more sunlight at different times of year and are hotter during those times. Areas that receive less sunlight are cooler. But as we saw in Fun Fact 10, Allah and Muhammad informed us that the sun sets in a muddy pool and is therefore much smaller than the earth. If the sun is much smaller than the earth and sets in a pool, it obviously can't be the cause of changes in the weather. So, what does cause the heat of summer and the cold of winter? Fortunately for us, Muhammad has the answer. In Islam, hell isn't just hot. There's also a cold part of hell called Zamharir to torment people who don't like cold. Summer and winter, according to Muhammad, are caused by the hot and cold parts of hell. Sahih al-Bukhari, 3260 Narrated Abu Huraira, Allah's Messenger said, The hellfire complained to its Lord, saying, O oh my Lord, my different parts eat up each other. So, he allowed it to take two breaths, one in the winter and the other in summer, and this is the reason for the severe heat and the bitter cold you find in weather. Thanks to Muhammad, we know that summer and winter aren't caused by the Earth orbiting the Sun on a tilted axis, as scientists and anyone who's had a first grade education claim. Instead, summer and winter are caused by hell talking to Allah and telling him, my cold and hot parts are interfering with each other, so you need to let each of them breathe once per year. And Allah lets them breathe. With amazing scientific insights like this, we can finally understand why the world's most brilliant scientists all got their educations at Islamic schools. By the way, I'm being sarcastic. Due to the influence of Muhammad and the Quran, no one goes to Islamic schools to learn science.